please subscribe like and share hey guys today I'll talk about my new part of my channel which is the horsepower quick takes guess what now we're gonna talk about cubic inches like I said before and a lot of people miss it not everybody watches the video in full your cubic inches how you figure this out on a four inch bore your stroke is your cubic inch when you look at a 348 stroke in a four inch bore that's a 350 Chevy a three and a half inch stroke on a four inch bore that's a 351 a three inch stroke okay on a four inch bore is a 302 same thing with the Chevrolet's so your stroke basing it on a four inch bore is your cubic inch now when you go oversized 30 over that's six inches okay 60 over that's 12 inches so just combine the stroke measurement and the overbore 30 over six inches on top of that there's your, your, your cubic inches that's your engine size okay another quick take hey you know guys do you know <laughs> how to figure out your carburetor I see everybody get confused with this thing like knock knock I'm confused I where do I find this information very easy on your cubic inches if you have 302 or 300 cubic inch 600 CFM if you have mild shorty headers mild camshaft four barrel intake okay on a perform rpm so far so ignition add 50 on top of that so now your 302 from 600 with some mild bolt-ons and stuff 50 cfm more 650 now when you have the same 302 but now you went through that previous thing we talked about but now you added compression a point and a half on top of from your stock one or you got a single plane manifold guess what and a camshaft guess what you add 100 cfm on top of my base double your cubic inch so now if you have a 302 and the mild combinations add 50 cfm on top of that okay for the mild combo it's 650 now when you have the added compression a bigger camshaft and perhaps a single plane or or a bigger carburetor guess what 750 add 100 when you stepped it up okay guys hope this was uh, a quick one and uh, think about that for a moment save you a lot of time and money